Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, uh, inter VLAN routing challenge. Here we can see our addressing table. Also, we can see VLAN antiport assignments table. We will uh, go through the scenario here. Uh, in this activity, we will uh, demonstrate and reinforce your ability to implement inter VLAN routing, including configuring IP addresses, VLANs, trunking and sub interfaces now we will come to the requirements assign ip addressing to r1 and s1 based on the addressing table so uh, for the r1 and s1 here we can see uh, first of all we will come to the device r1 here we can see in our topology right so here we can see the interfaces uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 also we can see the sub interfaces here now, uh, 0 slash 1.10, 1.20, 1.30, 1.88, and 1.99. So, uh, along with that, in this R1, uh, we are going to uh, configure inter VLAN routing on R1 based on the addressing table. So, uh, these two things we will do uh, in this uh, R1 right now. First of all, we will configure the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. Here we can see the IP address. Also, we can see the submit to mask right coming to r1 cli enable configure terminal we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to set the ip address also submit to mask 255.255.255.252 255 so we will give this a no shot command now we will go to uh, the sub interface uh, gigabit ethernet to 0 slash 1.10 and here we can see the IP address also the submit to mask coming to R1 so we will exit and we will go to that interface uh, gigabit ethernet uh, 0 slash 1.10 also here we will give uh, the encapsulation dot 1q then we have to give the VLAN ID that's 10 now we will set the IP address, I copied from our addressing table, here is that. And also the submit to mask at 255.255.255.0. Coming to the next sub interface, that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.20, here we can see the IP address, I will copy that. Also here we can see the submit to mask at 255.255.255.0. So coming to the configuration, we will exit and we will go to that sub interface that is uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.20 and here we will give encapsulation dot 1q then VLAN ID 20. Also we will set the IP address, here is that. Also the subnet to mask 255.255 dot two five five dot zero coming to the next uh, sub interface so uh, that is a uh, gigabit ethernet zero slash one dot thirty here we can see the ip address also we can see the submit to mask coming to the configuration we have to go to that interface gigabit ethernet zero slash uh, one dot thirty and here we are going to give the encapsulation dot one q thirty also, we are going to set the IP address. So, here is the address. And the submit mask 255.255.255.0. Coming to the next sub interface. So, that is 0 slash 1.88. Here we can see the details. Also, here we can see this uh, VLAN 88 uh, is the native VLAN. So, we have to configure uh, in that way. So, coming to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.88. Here we are going to give encapsulation dot 1q. Then we have to give the VLAN ID that is 88. Also, we have to specify make this as native VLAN. So, we have to give native. Now, we are going to set the IP address. So, here is the address. Yes. Also, the submit to mask 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 .255 .0. 
coming to the last sub interface in this device R1. Oh, here we can see uh, the IP address and the submit to mask. Coming to R1, we have to go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1.99. Here we are going to give encapsulation dot one q VLAN ID ninety nine. Also, we have to set the IP address. So here is that, and the submit mask two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Coming to the topology, here we can see uh, this uh, link is down. So we have to uh, make this uh, link up. Uh, that means so this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and this uh, device R1. So we will go to that interface. Now we are in sub interface. We have to go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we are going to give an OSHAT command. Here we can see all the sub interface uh, changed state to up. Also, we will uh, save all the configurations, uh, copy, running config to startup config, yes. Also, we will verify this, uh, show running config, and to here we can see the details. Here we can see each interfaces and uh, its IP address. Yes, sub interfaces. Right. Coming to the next requirements, create name and assign VLANs on S1 based on the VLAN and the port assignments table. Ports should be in access mode. Yes, here we can see our VLAN and the port assignments table. We have these VLAN uh, VLANs 10, 20, 30, 88 and 99 and here we can see uh, its name. Also, we have to assign this VLAN uh, to these uh, interfaces. So here we can see the details. First of all, I will uh, create and uh, name uh, these uh, VLANs uh, into our uh, switch S1. Enable configure terminal. So we will create VLAN 10 and uh, here we have to give the name as uh, faculty bar staff also we have vlan 20 and uh, we have to name us uh, students as per our uh, table also we have vlan 30 then we have to give the name as uh, specified guest default also we have vlan 88 name as a native also we have a vlan 99 name as a management we will verify our uh, vlan show vlan brief and here we can see that what our vlan created yes but here we can see all the uh, ports are in the default VLAN that is VLAN 1. So next we are going to uh, assign uh, these ports into the VLAN according to our, our assignments table. Here we can see that. Here we can see in our VLAN and port assignments table the interfaces first third zero slash 11 till 17 uh, is in VLAN 10. So we will configure that configure terminal we have to go to these interfaces so, so we will give us a range first third zero slash 11 till 17 and all these uh, ports mode we have to change it to access so switch port mode as access switch port access vlan 10 Next here we can see the interfaces from first third zero slash 18 till uh, 24 uh, in uh, VLAN 20. We will exit and we will go to the interface or range first third zero slash 18 till 24. 
here we are going to give a switch port mode as access also switch port access vlan 20 coming to the next interfaces here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 6 uh, till 10 should be in a vlan 30 coming to the configuration we have to uh, give a range of interfaces fast ethernet 0 slash 6 till 10 switch port mode as access also we have to give switch port access uh, vlan 30 next here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, f uh, in the vlan 88 as a native right so coming to the configuration we have to go to that interface interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and here the mode is a trunk yes so here we can see that also we have to give a switch port a trunk native vlan uh, 88 next we can see interface vlan 99 that is a management uh, vlan 99 so in the beginning itself they told to configure uh, this s1 uh, also r1 we done all the r1 but we did not complete this s1 based on the addressing table yes here we can see that coming to our addressing table here we can see the details so we have to configure uh, this address and submit to mask for this interface vlan 99 uh, in this device s1 coming to s1 we will exit and we have to go to the interface uh, vlan 99 yes here we have to give the ip address here we can see the address Also, the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. So, we will give no shut command. Now, we will come to the next requirements. So configure S1 to chunk. Allow only the VLANs in the VLAN and port assignments table. Yes, uh, so here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1, which is connecting to R1. We already made this uh, interface as a uh, uh, trunk. And uh, coming to the next requirements, uh, configure the default gateway on S1. In our addressing table, here we can see the default gateway of uh, S1 for the interface VLAN 99. Here we can see that. So coming to S1, we will exit. Here we are going to give ip default gateway here is that coming to the next requirements all ports not assigned to a vlan should be disabled yes here on this uh, uh, port assignments table itself we can see uh, the interface started from 0 slash 6 and we used all other interfaces until 24 and here we can see we used only one gigabit ethernet interface so we will uh, check in our uh, switch so we will give show IP interface brief and here we can see one more uh, uh, gigabit ethernet interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 also we can verify this with the help of uh, show VLAN brief and here we can see that Here we can see the interfaces which are not assigned to uh, the VLAN which is uh, created here. Uh, and here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 till 5. Also the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 is uh, still in uh, VLAN 1 that is in default to VLAN. Here we are going to disable uh, these interfaces. Well, configure terminal we have to go to the interface. We will go as a range of interfaces, uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1 till 5. Also, we have 1 gigabit uh, ethernet that is a 0 slash 2. And here we are going to shut down these interfaces. 
Coming to the next requirements, configure inter VLAN routing on R1 based on the addressing table. Yes, so that we have done in the beginning itself. And finally, verify connectivity R1, S1 and all PCs should be able to ping each other on the Cisco.pka server. We will ping from each PC to this server Cisco.pka. Oh, here we can see the IP address of the server Cisco.pka. First of all, we will do it from PC1. Desktop command prompt. Here we are going to ping to our server. Yes, here we can see we are getting the replay. Coming to PC2. Ping to our server. We are getting the replay. Also, we will try from PC3. Ping to our server. We are getting the replay. Also, we will try from uh, these devices S1 and R1. Ping to our server. Waiting for the replay. Success rate is 60%. No props. We will uh, try once more so that we will get 100%. Right. Now we will come to R1. Enable. Here we are going to ping to our server. Yes, success rate is 100%. Friends, uh, that's all in this packet tracer activity inter VLAN routing challenge. Here we can see a uh, completion status 100 out of 100. Friends, if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our Gmail. Thank you.